really simple social media here and uh, I want to show you as I promised how to add an Aweber form to your uh, to your Facebook page and it's really simple the first thing you want to do though is make sure that when you go into Aweber and, and you're in the form that you're going to want to show up in your Facebook page is that you click on this here Facebook integration so make sure that that little button is clicked and click on that and then also make sure you save the web form when you've done that once you've done that and you have that done sign into Facebook don't be using Facebook as your page just use Facebook as yourself right now and go into the search bar there and search for a Weber the first thing that comes up should be this a Weber email marketing app that's the official a Weber email marketing app when you click on that uh, this one will open here with the Aweber web form tool. Click down here, add app to page. I mean, it really couldn't be simpler, but it does get a little confusing actually as you move through this. Um, so the next step there is just to say add page tab. If you have more than one page, then you're going to want to select that from the drop down menu. If you only have one, then no worries. I've got several, so I'm going to choose my main, so really simple social media page, and then I will click add page tab. So we've started the process. Oddly enough, there's no confirmation. It just brings me back to my personal um, timeline, my personal news feed. I mean, I'm sorry. So I want to go over here now, and I want to click the drop-down menu and use Facebook as the page that I just said I wanted to add the app to. So I have to go in now to become my page, in effect, uh, because in there I've got to say edit. Uh, sorry, got to go to the admin panel and inside the admin panel I'm gonna edit some of the settings to edit some of the settings of the tab that I just added so we go to manage and click on edit page um, when edit page menu page comes up here's the menu down the left hand side I'm gonna click on apps when I click on apps and look for the app that uh, that is the Aweber official app that I've uh, added I scroll down here in the apps that I've added to my page and you'll see there it is the official Aweber email marketing app click on go to app when I do that uh, it's gonna tell me Facebook is gonna tell me that uh, you're using Facebook as your page and to access this page you really need to switch back so I've got to switch back that's why it gets kinda of confusing I've got to switch back to operating as myself again and now click go to app so once I've clicked go to app I um, should get some permissions here. Give Aweber permission to do all this stuff and integrate with Facebook. So I will say allow because that's what I want to do. And once I've done that, now I'm going to just have to select which form and which list I want to show up when people click on my tab, the tab that ultimately gets added. So I'm just waiting here. There it is for this uh, page to open up with my choices of um, list and form so I will choose you know from the different f lists that you've got I want to add people to my go to webinars list and I want to use my vid opt-in form so that's the form I'm using and I will say save changes again there's no confirmation there's a little check mark here that says your changes have been saved but no real confirmation that anything's done but it is this it's actually done now if I click on this link back to my page I can go to the page and then I'm going to scroll down and go to the apps and you know the apps are here but it may not show up in your top three so in order to see the other apps you have to click this little box over here on the right and there it is there's the official Aweber app click on that and a and this as if a visitor was doing this a visitor would click on that tab and up would pop a page a sub page of your Facebook page that's got the Aweber form that you chose with the Facebook integration embedded in it. and that's what's really nice I mean it really removes the barrier to entry people don't have to enter their email address they can just click register so there it is now anytime people come to your page they will see a tab let's go down okay they'll see a tab now you'll have to rearrange it if you want to so they see it or they'll have to click on that button in order to see it then when they click the tab again they'll go right to the form that's one way to do it an easier way to do it let me do it for you and make it more customized you can have a headline you can have text you can sell people on why they want to sign up for your page you can have an image lots of stuff it's beautiful that's the second way to do it or if you want to do it yourself you can do it the way I just showed you hope you enjoyed it